Hello, hello, Reds. It's Man United inside again on it. Eric Ten Hag press conference. In full, under fire. Manchester United boss addresses Ratcliffe investment and defends style of play ahead of Fulham clash. Manchester United boss Eric Ten Hag came out fighting in his pre-match press conference ahead of their game against Fulham. The Dutchman is under mounting pressure at Old Trafford having lost successive home games 3-0 in the space of three days. United shipped three without reply in the Manchester Derby to rivals Man City last Sunday. The club then suffered the same result against a weakened Newcastle as they failed to defend their Carabao Cup title. United now head to West London to take on Fulham this weekend looking to salvage their faltering season. Ahead of the game, Ten Hag reflected on a number of key issues and here is every word from this afternoon's press conference on Team News. Rafael Varane is ready to play. He will travel with the squad. Victor Lindelof has some illness, and we'll have to see if he's ready for tomorrow. On the character in the squad, remember the fight we showed against Brentford. If there wasn't spirit of characters in the dressing room, you couldn't do this. On his style of play. I came here with my philosophy based on possession, but also to combine it with the DNA of Man United, but also with the players and their character. We combined it last year, and we played very good football last season. I want to play from the back, and we try that in every game. But like against Man City, if they are good at pressing, it's a good option to go direct. We want to press, then go direct. Because we have the players who are very good at it. On criticism of his style of play. I don't want to say that. That's too strong. The intention is clear, but the execution isn't there. In the moment we're in, with so many changes, we can't line up the same game each time and we have to swap. We miss players in the back four and every time we have to adjust, which doesn't help the routines. On the mood amongst the players. They players are positive. They want to put this right and we know the standards here. We have to match them every day. We've had two big setbacks, but we'll fight back. The dressing room is strong, the staff are strong, and this manager is strong. On whether Fulham is a must-win game, I never think of such scenarios. We have to win every game. We prepare very good, and I'm sure the players are ready tomorrow to execute the plan. On incoming investment from Sir Jim Ratcliffe, I have a good squad. I'm convinced about the players in the dressing room. We saw these players last year, they can do a lot better, but that's up to me to let them play better. I have to take the responsibility to make them play better, and I will put every effort in to get this done. I'm not thinking about transfer windows because I have a good squad. On United being hard to beat. I think the players are hard to beat. In this moment, obviously with such two defeats, we didn't show it. But I'm convinced in the long term they will be hard to beat, and they know how to do it. Sheikh Jassim could invest in Premier League club to create new financial rival for Man United. Sheikh Jassim could invest in a brand new Premier League club after missing out on buying Manchester United this summer. It has been claimed. Jassim and his 9-2 foundation withdrew from the race to buy the Red Devils last month following a drawn-out bidding war with fellow takeover hopeful Sir Jim Ratcliffe. United have since accepted Ratcliffe's offer for a 25% stake in the club as part of a staged buyout from current owners, the Glazers. However, Jassim could readjust his focus to fellow Premier League club West Ham as part of a revenge plot on United. That's according to The Times who confirmed that the Hammers' co-owner Vanessa Gold announced she is placing some shares up for sale. Gold took over a 25% ownership of the club following the passing of her father David in January and is now looking to sell up to 10% of her stake, should the right person be interested. She said in a statement, I would consider selling a proportion of our shares to the right partner. I have spoken to each of the other three major shareholders at West Ham United, David Sullivan, Daniel Kretinsky, and Trip Smith, who have been very supportive. 
Any transaction to purchase some of our shares will be with my father's legacy at the forefront of my mind, which, of course, prioritizes his beloved West Ham United. I have appointed Rothschild and Co. to advise us on any discussions and will keep the other shareholders, the club and our supporters, updated on any significant developments. It remains to be seen whether Jassim would be interested in investing in West Ham, having previously been linked with a move to buy Tottenham Hotspur last month. However, the door is certainly open to an investor with the Qatari's sort of financial power. Wayne Rooney calls on Man United's underperforming stars to take responsibility as he insists they can do a lot more amid mounting pressure on Eric Ten Hag after consecutive Old Trafford defeats. Man United have lost eight games this season, including two in the last week. Pressure is mounting on Eric Ten Hag, but Rooney wants the players to step up. Is Eric Ten Hag out of his depth at Man United? Sheikh Jassim could invest in Premier League club to create new financial rival for Man United. Sheikh Jassim could invest in a brand new Premier League club after missing out on buying Manchester United this summer. It has been claimed. Jassim and his 9-2 foundation withdrew from the race to buy the Red Devils last month following a drawn-out bidding war with fellow takeover hopeful Sir Jim Ratcliffe. United have since accepted Ratcliffe's offer for a 25% stake in the club as part of a staged buyout from current owners, the Glazers. However, Jassim could readjust his focus to fellow Premier League club West Ham as part of a revenge plot on United. That's according to The Times, who confirmed that the Hammers' co-owner Vanessa Gold announced she is placing some shares up for sale. Gold took over a 25% ownership of the club following the passing of her father David in January and is now looking to sell up to 10% of her stake, should the right person be interested. She said in a statement, I would consider selling a proportion of our shares to the right partner. I have spoken to each of the other three major shareholders at West Ham United, David Sullivan, Daniel Kretinsky, and Trip Smith who have been very supportive. Any transaction to purchase some of our shares will be with my father's legacy at the forefront of my mind, which of course,